Right, I'm just gonna make a short video. I just felt like I had to make this video because it is quite big news. And guess what guys, remember that fan that was supposed to come out um, a while back? You know, Tilta actually did an announcement that they were gonna make a fan for the EOS R5. Well, believe it or not, that fan that we actually thought that was never gonna come around actually is here. So I'm actually in Tilta's website and you can actually see it's listed here now, you know, and you can see the whole final product of what that fan actually looks like. It's, I just can't believe that it's here right now. And you can even add it to the cart. So yeah, there's no joke about it. So let's just go briefly through the specs of the, the, um, the cage itself or the fan, sorry. So it does say that it is going to be supporting the EOS R5 and the R6, which is pretty obvious because they, they have pretty much the same form factor. And also it comes with full range of cooling, efficient and stable, blah, 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 and all that sort of thing. It comes with six layers of precise modules, um, innovative and efficient cooling. So yeah, sort of like all these marketing jargon and all that. Um, six fan blades, 5,000 revs per minute, and about 30 decibels of noise. I don't, I, I don't have any idea of how loud that is, but I, I'm assuming it's not that loud. So, um, this is the part where it really does interest me. There is definitely a port to um, power it on and it's a type C port. So you, you power it on with a USB type C. And it also has uh, the ability to connect with the Nucleus Nano. So if you've got a Nucleus Nano uh, focusing follow focus unit, you can actually plug it in, into this um, fan. Now the thing that really interests me the most is that there, there's going to be two combinations for this um, EOS R5 fan. So you can either, either opt for the EOS R5 um, tilter cage system that supports this fan or you can actually, which this is the part where I'm more interested in, you can actually get the Arca Swiss plate that can be used with this um, fan. So I'm more interested in that so that I can still use my Condor Blue cages, uh, my Condor Blue cage. So yeah, I'm very interested to see that. And yeah, that's basically the, the whole update. Um, go over to the, um, the Tilter website, it's here. And yeah, I just wanted to update you guys with this news. And I think it's really big news because you can actually slowly see now more and more, especially after firmware, um, 1.4 just came out, you can actually see that more and more people are actually supporting the, the EOS R5 as a, you know, as, as, as a video camera, you know, that can shoot good video and also do uh, good stills. So yeah, I'm sure a lot of you may be saying, yeah, but there's, it's kind of a workaround kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, but it's just for, for people who actually still want to be, you know, able to use all their, Canon glass and not having to upgrade to something else like a Sony. So yeah, it's really good news and hope to see you guys in the next video. I hope I can make more videos like this. I prefer, you know, doing videos that don't really have scripts. It's a lot easier, but at the same time, um, yeah, I'm not really good in front of the camera. But anyway, see you guys in the next video. Peace.